Now usually I pause in between filming because I can hear a plane fly over us, but in this case, since most of the flights are cancelled, I think this is going to be a very smooth filming day. So today we're talking about how to cope with working from home if you and your partner are both in lockdown, quarantine, or just social distancing, which is exactly what we're doing um, as of a couple days ago, uh, actually a couple weeks ago, Christian had pneumonia, it wasn't COVID, um, so he's been home, um, he hasn't really gone out at all, so he's literally a little bit cabin fever. Um, I've also been working from home for the past two weeks, and us living together and working together hasn't been the easiest transition, um, to be honest, so if you can relate and you have tips, please leave it in the comments below. But um, these are some of the things I learned from trial and error. So tips for working from home as a couple. So number one is needing your own space. So I need this just on a, like <laughs> minus the quarantine, on an everyday I need my own space because I've always been very independent. So um, it goes without saying that we've carved out different office spaces um, for ourselves. So mine is up here where my desk is and Christian's kind of just taken over the kitchen lounge areas downstairs. Um, so it's really important for us to have our separate spaces because I'm on calls all day and he's on calls all day. So that way we're not kind of running into each other. Number two. Number two is to stick to your routine as much as possible. Um, just because transitioning to working from home is a big enough transition. So you want to kind of keep all your other things the same so it's less to transition into. So for example, like I, we wake up the same time every day, I still walk fudge at the same time every morning. Um, yeah, our after, our after work activities um, may have changed a little bit because we're not, we're not going out, but you know, we're still cooking dinner, we're still walking fudge in the morning, uh, in the evenings at the same time. Oh, and on a side note, fudge is loving that we're working from home because um, yeah, he gets company all the time. Okay, let's see what else. The third one. The third one I learned through trial and error and through some really hard lessons. So it's find ways to offload your stress. See, like what we don't notice is that when we go to work, um, we leave, we offload the stress at the office. And I don't know about you, but I really tried not to bring things home. I don't try to, I tried not to bring work stress into my home life. And I think Christian does the same. So like every Friday, he'll go out and have a beer with the boys. And that's kind of his way, his way to just take a breather, drop the day, and then go home um, without bringing work home. And it's really difficult when you're doing that and you're working from home. So find different ways to offload it, um, even if it's you're phoning a friend, you're um, doing a Google Hangout with your coworker, or you're just doing a quick workout um, at your home office. You know, just find a way, find a release so that you're not taking out your frustrations on your partner. Right, schedule lunch date. So working from home doesn't have to be boring um, and you don't have to go out. Like Christian and I will schedule lunch dates just for us to catch up and do something fun and just take a break from work. Um, and when you don't have, you know, the water cooler or you don't get to do coffee runs with your coworkers, I think this is kind of like the next best thing. You know, you have your partner as a coworker. And now the fifth tip is something I haven't tried before, but I will, and it's to create an imaginary coworker. Um, why? It's because you can blame everything on them and no one will have to suffer the consequences. Think about that. Left a coffee cup on the bench, Cheryl did it. Um, didn't take out the garbage, oh, Cheryl forgot. And it's so easy um, and it just puts the fun back into working together in the same household 24-7. Um, so if you know, if working from home as a couple is driving you a little bit crazy, or if you've got any tips to alleviate cabin fever, please uh, leave a comment below. So what we've been doing um, is video games, Netflix, movies. I think I actually want to buy Dance Dance Revolution. One, just to get some more exercise um, into my routine, and two, I think it'd be fun. So if you have any ideas, um, to how to have fun indoors while you're kind of on lockdown, uh, leave a comment. And stay healthy. Look after each other.